Hey everybody, here to give you a walk around real time look at my 1985 Chrysler Town & Country Wagon. Uh, it's a 2.2 turbo rather than the 2.6 Mitsubishi power plant. So the turbo obviously is more desirable. Um, I purchased this car from my good friend Frank Marcus who has been the technical editor for Car and Driver and Motor Trend since, I don't know, since Moses was parting seas and whatnot. Um, he's been around, he knows his thing, and before he was at those magazines, um, he worked at Chrysler when they were reportedly engineering these cars, although I've seen no evidence uh, to support that but i don't want to sound too negative about something i am selling i'm told that is bad so uh kitty inside this is a 69,000 mile car um, and side note i'm filming it inside our workshop because it is very loud outside today with construction and whatnot so i apologize for the background but uh this will give you a good look at it under fluorescent lights to see what she looks like person, more or less. So Frank owned the car for, I believe it was about four years. I've owned the car for a little over a couple years, two and a half years. Um, used it for exactly the same thing that uh, Frank did, having fun and uh, having the kind of funky 80s K-Car crap box wagon to uh, amuse people, which it never ceases to do. Car is extremely nice and original. I will be posting paint meter readings because this is a high dollar collectible and I know everybody will be interested to know if it's original paint or not. So I'll prove that in the pictures. Um, you can see it comes with this Genuine crystal pentastar on the hood. You can press your friends. Uh, it's just like a Rolls Royce. If you go over to it and you just go near it, it retracts. Just get retract, retract, retract. Okay, it doesn't retract when you go near it. It does do this. Oh yeah, look at that. So if they try to steal it, it goes, hey, gotcha. I'm on a spring. Also good for the uh, car wash at the gas station. When you go through, it doesn't rip it off. Um, same thing with the grill. When you run into something, she hinges back. So, got too, a few too many hot toddies at the club. You run into that snowbank, boom, all good. Okay, the one thing that doesn't hinge is this bumper rub strip. As noted in the description, has that one little cut, scrape, whatever you want to call it right here. It's about that long. Um, other than that, it is extremely nice. It has a little, I'm going to use a fancy European car term, degradation to the wood here, the Brazilian rainforest wood, uh, plastic Brazilian rainforest. Um, just a little bit of the colorings come off on the top edges. You could paint that, brush it, airbrush it, whatever you want to do. But to me, it just looks like it belongs there. It kind of makes it look more real. Um, I'll show you the one flaw on the wood grain. The driver's door has the scrape that I also photographed right here. You just keep using some fine furniture polish on this uh, nice wood. It should be fine forever. Uh, roof rack. All original glass. Nice original dashboard. Has the uh, horsepower vents in the hood. Has the horsepower emblems on the front fenders. It has the uh, genuine wire simulated wheels with brand new Unroyal Tiger Paws that harness all that. I think it's 146 horsepower. She hooks up, take her to the Friday Night Drags. Not gonna have a problem. 
show you it has tires on the other side. See, there's a tire there. There's one there. Uh, beautiful chassis, original exhaust. It's a stainless steel Chrysler exhaust from the factory. Uh, not a rust belt car. It's been a dry climate car its whole life. Uh, let me go pop the hood here. Might have to pause this if I can't one hand it, but we'll see. Hey, look at that. Huh, nice. Okay. So, under the hood, there is the famous 2.2 Turbo 1, not the Turbo 2, Turbo 1, the original. Uh, so, when Frank had it, the car had some blow-by. Uh, obviously, we're friends. He fully disclosed that. He was just putting, pushing oil into the uh, air cleaner. Uh, turns out the number one cylinder had some uh, failed or weak rings on it and it was pushing a little bit of oil. So I had a fellow uh, rebuild the engine, honed it, pistons, rings, valve job, timing belt, all that stuff. Uh, it has had a new alternator under Frank's ownership. Uh, the air conditioning was all redone. The air conditioning blows cold, uh, has a reasonably new radiator in it, Spectra premium radiator, uh, had a new battery in 2019. So all the service is up to date, um, really runs great, doesn't do anything funny. Um, very clean and nice under the hood. All the original decals are there. Uh, no accident damage, no rust, no funny business. She's, uh, she's had a nice life. So let's take a look at the inside. Oh, look at that under hood light glowing away like downtown. New York. Okay, on to the inside. Put on to a wider angle here. Mark Cross leather, um, quality engineered by Chrysler Corporation. Again, I don't really know what they were engineering, but here we are. Uh, power seats, tilt, recline, up, down, side, back, whatever you want. Pentastar floor mats, those are those are from a Hemi Cuda convertible. Uh, Hemi Cuda convertible is worth about $5 million. Floor mats are worth about, mm, I don't know, what's the percentage wise of the car? Uh, they gotta be worth 15, 15 to 20,000. So just buy the floor mats, get the car for free. Uh, the headliner's been redone. It's very nice. All right, I'm back. Sorry for the interruption. Uh, has this nifty uh, truck stop center console in it. 69,204 miles. I will show you one thing, the, the plastic on the uh, instrument panel or gauge cluster here has a crack in it, like somebody must have been cleaning it, pushed on it, put a little fracture in it. Um, what else here? Factory radio with upgraded speakers, has the owner's manual on the books, all that kind of stuff. Cruise, tilt, power locks, power windows, power driver's seat. I misspoke before, the driver's, the passenger seat is not power, um, but it does everything you want it to do. So let's go into the back. Keys down there. All right, more good stuff in the back. Look at that, huh? Ferris Bueller's mom, it's rolling. Something very similar. You can't beat that. So going on the other side. Front wheel drive. Cars that saved Chrysler. Lee Iacocca. Thought he did a good job with the Mustang. Went to Chrysler, made these. Legacy confirmed. Can't get any better than that. So, there you go. I'm from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. I actually have some bowling shoes that look damn near exact to this interior. Pretty crazy. Uh, all right, so. Let's fire it up and go for a ride. Be back in a sec.